This is the Transformers Generation 1 reissue Walmart exclusive Decepticon Communicator Soundwave and Condor Cassette Buzzsaw together with his minions, the two-pack Ravage and Rumble as well as the two-pack of Frenzy and Laserbeak. Okay, now the two-pack cassettes or minions, I picked these two at Our Toys and the Soundwave set is a gift from my wife. So let's get them out of packaging. And before we begin, quick look at the packaging. The Soundwave box, exactly how it was back in the day. And the old Hasbro logo with the addition of the more modern Transformers logo. Some tech specs, bottom of the box, that's it. And for these two set two packs, here's the front, they're on a card with the tech specs at the back. Okay. And the instructions as well. And here they are out of packaging. Let's start with this set. It, com it comes with a Soundwave cassette recorder. Oh my goodness, if you have no idea what a cassette recorder is, you are so young. Pops open and the minions actually transform into these analog recording devices called cassette tapes. I apologize to those my age, well, why I'm speaking so slowly, it's for the benefit of everybody who never grew up and never learned how to record using analog. And they all fit nicely. Each one of them will fit in the cassette uh, tape deck and ejected like this, as is in the cartoon. And only one at a time. Each, each of the cassettes will only fit one at a time. So this is Soundwave. He comes with two batteries. Um, and you store the batteries here. Positive point there. And another positive node there. And there you go. Battery st stashed. Comes with three missiles or projectiles, laser projectiles. Buzzsaw cassette tape with two thrusters. Ravage and Rumble. Yes, in the cartoons, this was Rumble, this was Frenzy. But in the toy, this was Rumble and this is Frenzy. Both Rumble and Frenzy are repaints of each other. And they have the same type of chrome uh chrome weapons, chrome paint, chrome plated plastic weapons. Ravage with the two rocket packs. And then Laser Beak, probably the most famous um, Decepticon minion, uh, Soundwave's minion is Laser Beak, who is also a repaint of a Buzzsaw and will have the same weapons. Um, Soundwave does come with an instruction manual and some sticker sheets, but we're gonna not put the time being, and then these are the packs. As I mentioned earlier, the text packs and instruction sheets are at the back of the card of the cassette two packs. So that's that's what's included, okay? Very simplistic back in the day. Excuse me. So, okay. Um, let's transform the minions first, because I think they're, they're the easier ones to transform. Let's start with Buzzsaw and Laser Beak. So Buzzsaw, they're condors and you'll notice that these old g1 toys they'll have die cast pieces most of them are plastic but this for the condors uh the center torso is die cast and we'll talk about the cassettes later but let me just transform buzzsaw interestingly enough we did see in the cartoons laser beak made his first appearance uh, uh, earlier than a Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw came out a little bit later, but uh, Buzzsaw was the actual menu that came with Soundwave. And you had to get laser beak separately. Okay, so that's, that's the alt mode. The stickers have already been applied to the minions. So like that, and onto laser beak, which transforms exactly the same way. And what I wanted to talk about is the cassette, even the the roll of, of magnetic tape, you can you can clearly see right there in the sticker they thought about that, okay? And this was supposed to be the rub sign, the rub symbol. And if you didn't know what a rub symbol was back in the day, uh, it was a black uh, sticker with a black face. It was blacked out. And using the heat of your fingers, you would rub it and the faction symbol would come out, whether it was an Autobot or Decepticon, because um, 
the idea was robots in disguise and in alt mode you wouldn't know if he was a bad guy a decepticon or a good guy an autobot and you'd rub it and we revealed that was them but they didn't replicate it here so a little bit of a shame wish they could have done that so transform exactly the same way as we did buzzsaw okay and again die cast pieces right here for the center part of the body right there and then the pieces laser beak and he's very iconic laser beak okay put them off there next we will do ravage ravage is probably my favorite out of all the minions for some reason i don't know i like i love this jaguar so he was like the die cast pieces are actually the legs lower legs right here and he had some articulation a little bit of a toe foot articulation but that was it they could do that same with the condor the condors their neck could move the wings could move very limited articulation but uh it was it was really awesome back in the day you'd mount the rockets right here and let's see if he can stand up yep still stand even in that very thin stance okay now rumble and frenzy they're repaints of each other they are the humanoid minions non-animal minions so they would do that and what's interesting about these guys in in the cartoon they had pile drivers they could generate earthquakes and tidal waves using those pile drivers that their arms transformed into but the the g1 toy never did that it was actually an addition in the cartoons the creators of the cartoon they decided to just uh add that a little bit because they're frenzy and rumble so the weapons come here they can be stored on the back like that that's pretty cool spring loaded head usually that's the first one to break <laughs> that spring and then frenzy or rumble in the cartoon okay here die cast pieces for this uh particular figure these figures are the feet and the elbow joints. Sorry, not focusing there. The feet and the elbow joints. Those are the die cast pieces. Interesting that they've kept that. Okay, and the weapons, apart from being stored on the back, they can actually be held right here. Excuse me, wait, let me just do that. Be used as blasters although he can't really move his arms forward just the elbows forward so very cool interesting all right put them off there and finally let's go with sound wave now sound waves gotta be one of my favorite trans all-time favorite transformers and i never had this g1 sound wave when i was a kid um, if you're familiar with my other channel fx friends i think that's where i reviewed the toys r us exclusive Soundwave and his G1 Soundwave and his minions. I can't remember, but um, I know I've done a review of these guys, but I don't know. They kind of look different now. They kind of look upgraded. Decals are better. Seem to be better. I don't know. No way of comparing it. But I, I, I still feel. I still feel that the Soundwave um, is a little bit fragile as a toy. So. If you you want these toys to last longer you better take care be careful in transforming them and the first thing you want to do you want to split those legs and every time it cricks and cracks i can literally feel myself just spine tingling cringe up my back and because I'm, i always feel i'm going to break it so bring it down that fold like this like that and it's a little bit more solid this time, I think, than when I reviewed that Toys R Us exclusive box set. Um, very cool. Die cast feet, right? And I think those rods right there are die cast. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay. They probably are because the shoulder, these shoulder rods, joints are actually die cast. Attach that there. Fold down the arms and there you go sound wave oh the battery pack sorry my bad yeah they actually turn as the weapons of sound wave and this one is like the shoulder cannon and 
this one, actually, if I'm not mistaken, back in the day, it was actually spring loaded. And you could put that, and then this is the, it would fire the missile, missile, and now it, it, it doesn't. You push it and it, it doesn't shoot anything. So that's why there were three. So you, if you lost one, there were extra extras and all that. And there you go. Everybody had simple articulation. Soundwave just had the shoulder joints, but uh, yeah, very, very cool. I mean, if you had this when you were a kid, if you had every one of them, oh my goodness, everybody, you'd be a very popular kid uh, back in the day. And just for size comparison, here is the more modern uh, version of Soundwave, the Generations Siege Soundwave with Laser Beak and Ravage. So Soundwave has come a long way, but the old G1 toys, wow, wow, they still hit me up. I mean, they still pull some strings, some nostalgia, some a bit of my childhood here with these toys. So some final thoughts uh, on these figures. Uh, for me, the main selling point uh, of these figures are really the nostalgia or nostalgic value that they present, especially for those who actually grew up playing with these G1 toys back in the 80s. They're clearly not the best Transformers in the world, given that we've gotten a lot of updated versions of our favorite characters from the old Generation 1 cartoons. However, uh, these figures do represent a huge part of the childhood of people who actually knew about the Transformers when they were kids. And that little slice of childhood can mean the world for a lot of collectors. With that being said, if, you, if, you were, if you're like me, who grew up not having these toys when you were a kid, these figures are an absolute must-have. Uh, they bring back a lot of memories, they bring back a lot of nostalgia, and this is what Transformers was really all about. They were fun, um, they, they were easy to transform, they were actually um, well beyond their, their time uh, in terms of ingenuity and just playability, play value. And as I said, you know, get this set if you really just want to have a piece of your old childhood back. Now, if you're new to the scene, you're trying to get into Transformers, I wouldn't necessarily recommend these G1 toys. Um, I, I'd suggest you go and watch your cartoons first and then pick a character that you love. Uh, try and purchase the ones that are out right now, the modern ones, Cyberverse, the Generations, the Siege, Power of the Primes and all that. And maybe, maybe once you've gotten the habit of getting Transformers and learning on it, maybe you want to get a little bit of history, then you go and purchase these figures because they're not exactly cheap. They're a little bit on the pricey side and, you know, they don't, they, they, I don't think they mass produced these uh, being that they are store exclusives. So it might be a little bit difficult to obtain them. Um, financially uh, and if you're on a budget I would suggest you go first with the other versions of these characters but like I said if you wanted a piece of history some bit of nostalgia these are the figures to get if you are a big Soundwave fan it goes without saying you have to have this this was the very first Soundwave figure very first Minions toys ever produced of Soundwave you've got to have them and with that I hope you've enjoyed this little video review if you did, please let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of these Generation 1 reissue Soundwave and his Minions figures? Let me know in the comment section below what you think and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. This has been the Transformers Generation 1 reissues Walmart exclusive Soundwave and his Minions Buzzsaw, Laserbeak, Ravage, Frenzy, and Rumble. Thanks for watching.